you guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an interchangeable iPhone case. It's super easy and super inexpensive. Super duper easy. It's the coolest, coolest do-it-yourself project today, I have to say. This interchangeable iPhone case, like I said, is super, super easy, so don't worry if you don't have any experience in this area. This is great if you have kids that love to change their covers frequently and it can be expensive. So if you have a mother or daughter that is dying for a designer iPhone case, then this is the solution to help her and saving $60 at the same time. Like I said, it's super, super easy and anyone can do it. So basically you just trace and cut out various thin scrapbook papers and then you're good to go. And you can interchange them at any time. You can even do a collage and make one for your daughter if she's about to start college or high school. And then you can tie it into her college or high school theme with the school logo or emblem. So all you need is scrap of paper, preferably fairly thin, from your local craft store or dollar store like Dollar Tree. They run anywhere from a dollar and a quarter for one or two pages to four dollars for a whole book depending where you shop. Usually if they have glitter they may be a bit more. And then you just need a clear plastic iPhone case or whatever brand your phone is. This one happens to be a Samsung. This one has a clear surround, but you can also get them with a white or black bumper on Amazon for $1.54 or so. And you'll need some sharp scissors and a sharp X-Acto knife. Make sure the X-Acto knife is not dull from cutting cardboard or other things and you'll need a sharpie, marker, and a pencil. And if you have a rubber mat like this green one here to cut on, that works best. This mat is so cool because you can cut anything on it and it's self-healing. So it just heals itself after you cut into whatever you're cutting. And it protects your table underneath. So, are you ready? Well, let's get started then. Oh, but first, let me show you this really cool scrapbook I got, which has glossy, raised, glossy, and embossed pages. It's called Treasures, and you can pick it up at the Dollarama store for about $4 if they're still in stock. It's acid-free with 48 sheets. It has 24 sheets with special treatments. It's like a raised, glossy, embossed effect. And there's everything from a key design to chipped paint and vintage labels, a sketchy damask, collage of tags, A vintage floral design right through to the alphabet and this faux leather and you'll notice there's two sheets of each and look at this golden brick doesn't it remind you of the yellow brick road and they have vintage letters vintage typewriter keys more vintage keys, a collage sheet, this nice map with stripes, a gear page with, uh, with some tape running down the middle, and the alphabet. Anyways, you get the idea. So there's lots you can buy from the Dollar Tree. So with that being said, are you ready? Let's get started then. So take an empty clear cover 
and a piece of thin scrap of paper you love and line it up in an area of the paper of the design that you like. So you might want to put it on an angle and try a few different, a few different places and then just trace around the cover like shown. Press firmly on the case and trace with your pencil the first time. Then you want to take your Sharpie marker and trace around the pencil lines. We're doing this because it makes a thicker edge which is easier for cutting. And also we want to cut on the inside of this Sharpie marker so that it fits in the case a little bit better except where the camera piece goes. In that case, we want to cut on the outside of that line. Now, it's a good idea to test out your case, your template, by placing it in the actual clear plastic case and making sure that the camera, making sure it's the right size for one, and then trimming off any excess and also making sure that the camera cutout is lined up. And once you've made one, it's even easier because you can use the first one that you made and simply trace around that one. Now you can carry on by tracing out the camera holes and then using your X-Acto knife to cut that area out and a ruler. This time you want to cut on the outside of the lines. And then you just want to tear away or punch out the center piece and place it in your case and you're all done. There you have it. You can make as many of these as you like. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to click the bell icon for new videos and alerts. Subscribe today and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks so much. Bye for now.